ही गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वीडियो दिस टाइम गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर नाइन फाइव टीम ऑफ अटैकिंग इन लीड कोड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो गाइज इफ यू आर नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल दैन प्लीज यू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ मोर सच प्रोग्रामिंग एंड कोडिंग रिलेटेड वीडियोज लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट नाउ तो बेसिकली गाइज वी आर गिवन ए हीरो कॉल्ड एस टीमो हु इज अटैकिंग एन एनिमी कॉल्ड एस एश विद पॉइजन Now Timo can attack at any time intervals, and basically we are given an array called as time series, which is having all the time intervals or time values, uh, second values whenever Timo is attacking Ash. Whenever Timo attacks Ash, then Ash goes into an effect of poison for uh, a duration of uh, duration variable. So, for example, in this case, the duration is two. So Ash goes into a poison effect of two seconds whenever he is attacked. Okay. <clears throat> now uh, this can also be taken from this formula that for example if ash is attacked at time interval t seconds then he is going to be in poison effect until t plus duration minus 1th second okay so uh, this is the time interval until he is going to be in the effect now it is possible that timo attacks uh, ash again uh but uh, whenever he attacks again then either it could be when the poison effect has already ended from the previous attack or ash could already be in the poison effect so whenever timo attacks again when the poison effect is not ended then the timer for the poison effect is reset and now the new poison effect will end duration seconds after the new attack so for example if uh, in this case let's say this example Uh, in this case, Timo attacks first at second number one, so Ash is going to be in the poison effect for second one and for second two because the duration is two, right? Now let's say on second number two, uh, Timo attacks again. So because Ash is still under the poison effect, then the timer clock is reset, and again Ash is going to be in the effect for T plus. Duration minus one th second. So in this case, Ash is going to be in the effect from second number two plus two minus one, which means three. So Ash is going to be in the poison effect from uh, second number two and also on second number three. Now we have to return the total number of seconds Ash is in the poison effect. So for example, in this case, Ash is poisoned for second one, two, and three. That's why the answer is three. Okay. So I hope the problem statement is clear to you guys. Constraints are also straightforward. Time series is in non-decreasing order. The value of the time series uh, goes from zero to ten to the power seven. Time series has a length from one to ten to the power four. That means time series has at least one second in it. Okay. So let's go forward with the solution now. So the first thing is we are going to declare our count variable. and this count variable by default is going to be duration okay why is it going to be duration because we know that time series array has at least one value okay so even if the time series value uh, array has zero value or you know at least uh, it starts from 0th second then whichever second it starts from ash is going to be in the effect for duration number of seconds okay so by default the count is going to be duration now we assume that uh, ash is already attacked once so uh, we are going to check for the next attacks starting from uh, not from the zeroth value of time series but from the uh, one at value of time series so for integer i equals to 1 so we will start from the second time that uh, ash is attacked so i is equals to 1 to i less than time series dot length i plus plus okay now that we know that uh, ash is attacked second time we need to make sure that if he is attacked while under the effect of poison or after the effect of poison is over so we need to check integer poison poison effect over uh, time or i will say previous poison effect over time okay so the previous poison effect is going to be over after time series i minus 1th value plus duration value okay 
so this is going to be the time after which the previous attack is ended okay now we need to make sure that the time series value is greater than or equal to so if time series ith value is actually less than or equal to the previous poison effect over time that means ash was still under the effect of poison when he was attacked again so it means that we have to reset the clock okay by resetting the clock we basically mean that uh, uh, by resetting the clock we basically mean that whatever is the time difference between the current time and the previous poison effect over time okay so that means for example ash is supposed to be in the effect of poison until second number 4 but he was attacked again on second number 2 so that means the duration between second number 2 and second number 4 we cannot take that into consideration now because the clock is reset at second number 2 so from second number 2 we have to again count the uh, and add the duration okay so we are just going to subtract from count the previous poison effect over time minus the time series i so that we can discard the time of poison which we took into consideration before Uh, before the uh, new attack happened so we discard that time and then we are going to again add into count the duration so that the time is reset and again ash goes into the effect from the ith time to the duration time okay finally we are just going to return the count variable which is the total number of seconds ash is in poison effect let's run this code guys let's see if this works for our example and there you go you can see that it is accepted and it is going to get accepted for uh, other examples as well talking about the time complexity so time complexity is order of n because we are taking uh, all the time series values only one this is a n uh, for loop space complexity is order of one because no extra space is being used So that was the uh, solution, guys. I hope you guys like this solution. And if you do, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. Please do subscribe to my channel, guys, and hit the bell icon for future notifications. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for me, write down in the comment section below. I would be happy to address them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.